Okay, we start out with uh, Old Time Fiddle every year. That's our number one category to start out with. And we also have competition in Dobro, Mandolin, Bluegrass Banjo, Bluegrass Fiddle, uh, Clawhammer Banjo, Alta Harp. And, I, and then we have the bands, Old Time Bands, Bluegrass Bands, Folk Song, and Flatfoot Dances. We, our lodge is probably the only one in the country that does not have a bar in it. So this is our... Uh, only way to for our fundraising events here in, in Galax Lodge, okay. and this is grandfathered because of the history of it, and that's the only reason we're the only one that can have an activity like this outside the moose. Oh, uh, there's been a tremendous amount of changes in the fellers conventions over the year. Uh, of course, the numbers have increased, but with the starting of the youth competition and all, you know, it's brought a lot of kids into the into the organization. Uh, that's a little bit Australia. We have some people from Sydney, Australia, registered that came from Sydney this year, and also some people from, I believe, England and Japan, and in most of the. Uh, states in the United States are pretty much covered, uh, you know, so they just come from everywhere. Of course, a lot of these people make this a yearly thing and they come and take their vacation here and meet their old friends and make music all week long. So it's, uh, you know, it's getting to be more of a family, you know, type thing and they plan on it every year. Well, it's an amateur, it's not professional. So it's amateur, of course, they're competing for prize money and they, you know, they just enjoy playing and making music, whether they win or not. Yeah. So, you know, and, and it's just it's just an atmosphere where they just, everybody's having a good time and making a lot of music that you just find in these Blue Ridge Mountains, you know, and, uh, and it's just, uh, you know, just a place to come to. No, I remember several years ago, we used to be here four or five o'clock in the morning. And I tell you what, it was a long, make a long week out of it, but, in the last several years, we've uh, added additional nights. Of course, we're booked up six nights now, but used to, when I got involved, it was only like four nights. Started Wednesday, and we were here to four or five o'clock in the morning. I mean, the sun was coming up some mornings, we'd go home. We had late nights before we went, started adding nights to it. We had to do all of this in a, about three nights, and uh, it was nothing to be, be finishing up when the sun came up the next morning and then we finally got it up to six nights when we added the, uh, the youth night on Monday nights and that's been a big uh, draw it's been a that's been a crowd favorite now 10 or 12 years now I didn't I didn't count up when I started so I figured I'd do it for a year or two and that'd be it you know so I've been doing it ever since uh, back uh, in the late 50s early 60s I used to play in it some once in a while you know okay. Yeah, and uh, then I quit playing uh, bluegrass music, started playing country and rock and everything, so I went from there. Well, I like old time bands and bluegrass bands. The good, if they really do it good, I, I like to hear that. Yeah, but, uh, and I like the, some of the guitars are really good, you know. You get the Wayne Henderson types, they're pretty good. Yeah. They're just about the best there is, you know. I enjoy them. I used to get to walk around out in the parking lot, you know, and listen to a lot of it. I don't get to do that anymore because I'm tied down here. Yeah. I mean, I miss that because there's a lot of good picking out in the parking lot. That's some of the best picking in the in the whole park will be out there. Yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah, they we get to jamming and relaxed and everything. They can really play some music. Because when you come here, you're settling in for well, not everybody, but. A lot of people settle in for a week. To me, I come here Saturday night and sleep in my truck out on the street out there and eight o'clock in the morning get in line to come down here and, and I'm here for the week. And this is a, a vacation for me sometimes. We come in Sunday morning about, uh, I think we got in here about nine o'clock and we'll leave this next Sunday. I think you find some of the nicest people in the world camping. A lot more campers. Yeah. I mean, it used to be somebody had a pickup truck with the homemade box in the back. 
And that was it. And that was about the it. First, I mean, it was, some of our first camping, camping was done in the back of a pickup truck with a cattle rack on it and the canvas tarp tied over it. As the years go by, uh, my, my camping got more elaborate. I uh, got a pickup truck and I got a camper shell on it for the single purpose of coming and sleeping in it here at Galax one week a year. Got to have a pickup truck with a camper shell just so I can come and sleep in here. Well, everything works. You know, tents work. Uh, little campers work. It's whatever it takes to come and do it, you know. Uh, but this is the best I've ever been able to do it. As far as and I can invite people over and we can be inside and carry on a conversation and stuff. And, you know, even if it's uh, the weather's bad outside. So it's a nice refuge. I highly endorse having a big camper. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have a motorhome now. It makes it a little more comfortable. Of course, uh, since uh, we had that pickup with the Cadillac on it, we put on quite a few years. <laughs>